Hey everybody, uh, this one is probably going to be a bit quick, but again, uh, my daughter's coming home soon. So anyways, uh, this particular uh, video is going to be regarding my personal experience as an INF, or INTJ, sorry, uh, female and uh, relationships, uh, particularly with uh, a spouse. And... As I've mentioned in other videos, my particular spouse is an ISFP. So with this, I want to do a caveat that even though it's going to be sounding like I'm doing constant complaining relational videos, it's because it is tied to real life experiences right now. And a heavy part of that is due to, uh, again, uh, career stressors and limitations on uh, both of our times uh, within the family and career dynamics. So obviously there's always going to be some uh, pitch points in your relationship when you're going through these types of uh, more pressure uh, situations. So anyways, getting to it, uh, what I wanted to discuss regarding this uh, the spouse interaction for this particular one is the problem that I notice in my relationship with my INFP partner, where after a while, <clears throat> it almost feels like, uh, not, uh, I would say taken advantage of, but that sounds too harsh. Um, almost that you're not even being paid attention to. And I'm not saying that in a, a needy way, but in a way that they're not paying, like they're not focusing on things and they're just looking like they're kind of somewhere else. And I mean, all of us go through that. It's not uh, specifically MBTI specific. Uh, however, I notice that this happens quite a bit when, um, with this particular partner. So what I have noticed is that, uh, for an example, <laughs> I try to even dress up for a little day date with him and he didn't even notice what I, uh, anything to do with what I was wearing, what I was doing, he was on his phone the whole time. And I guess, or I do know that that has to happen when you're in a busy career, but at the same time, we're always analyzing everything and we start to build a uh, complete picture of the current state and what that relationship is looking like. So this particular example that I'm going to talk about is, as I mentioned before, my oldest is in grade 12 and he just graduated this week. So I'm, I want to hear what other INTJ females who have children have to say, but because of our inferior feeling, we, for me, I just toddled along and, you know, wasn't even paying attention. I knew I was going to have emotions, but wasn't paying attention. And then all of a sudden it hit me. So, uh, I was a mess, you know, puddle before and after the graduation. Um, during the graduation, I was fine, which I was happy about because I didn't want to show him me being upset. I can tell him I'm, you know, sad to see him go, but I don't want him to feel that burden for himself. He should be in a very happy time. And it is a happy time. However, my husband knows that this was going to be a difficult couple days and also knows that I am not prone to wanting to look emotional or feel emotional. I, I have a difficult time trying to make sense of it. So when that di dismissive uh, action comes in, uh, when he comes home from work and doesn't want to hear about, you know, the experience or uh, ask questions or, um, you know, sit down with me and uh, talk about what uh, my son, you know, the experience of my son's graduation, that bothers me because it feels like you're just you're going through this and that you're supposed to have that partner who has your back when you're navigating this especially when it's very rare that you're outwardly emotional and you're 
you know, you want to talk and have those loved ones around you um, and have that support system. So when they're on their phone or they're not, they're simply not paying attention or another piece uh, in this particular instant, he knew uh, this was a difficult time and there was a lot of things going on, but at the same time making complaints about having to pitch in and help with the kids and things like that where I mean, these are just an everyday part of our lives. So it just added fuel to the fire. So one last piece I'm going to speak to on this is, uh, I believe it's a reference from the five love languages or something like that. Uh, I remember um, getting that as a gift before. And I, the only thing I remember is the concept of love tanks and whether or not they're full or not. And when they start going to the empty phase, then that's when crisis can potentially start brewing slowly uh, because your whatever your love preference and mine is uh, time because I respect time. Uh, I want quality time and then go on our merry ways. Uh, when the love tank is getting depleted over and over, it's almost like sleep deficit where you finally have to have that correction. So for my particular piece with the dismissive um, mindset, uh, then usually the way to solve it is say a date night or something like that. So for myself, after commenting more than once about, you know, surprising me with a date night, I don't care if it's McDonald's, um, just to have some one-on-one -on -one and show you care. Uh, it has fallen on deaf ears and again I'm not trying to he's a wonderful guy and it's not this is not on the regular this is very specific to this time in our lives however the idea that I've mentioned it a couple times and it's still not there then I don't feel that uh, speaking to it anymore would help and if I would have, if I make it and make the plan myself, the feeling I have with my partner, who again is an ISFP, and I do not know if this is anything to do with uh, personality traits. Uh, it could very well just be my particular uh, relationship with my spouse. But I find if I did it, then it's going to be, it would be work for him. He's not being the man who's taking care of it is more that he would be just going to another meal and again it would be on his phone that type of thing so I feel that the uh, intuition uh, for this situation uh, shows me that even doing taking the bull by the horns is, which is something that I don't know other INTJ females but I I have no problem doing um, and do <laughs> but and like it but the sometimes the masculine feminine dynamic has to be maybe restored back to balance uh in whatever context that looks like in each relationship so anyways uh again always looking forward to hearing your comments um and uh love hearing them and I usually try to get back to you as quick as possible. Um, any topics that want to be discussed, please make, just make a note that you would like to see it on the video. Um, other than just getting a response in the comment section, just so I know which ones uh, would like to be addressed. So thanks again so much for watching and I hope to post another video here pretty shortly.